I always do all the time and um, seeing as we're all stuck at home and stuff not going anywhere it's kind of pointless but I'm going to be doing another video later on as well so I thought I might as well make myself look a bit better um because I feel like if you just sit around in your comforts and stuff all day um you feel more lazy and feel like you don't want to do anything so I feel like I've got to get dressed I've got to try and make myself look a bit better and feel a bit better and then I'll be able to motivate myself to do other things so that is going to be today's video so let's just crack on straight with the video so I'm just going to run through a few things that I do each day um, and if you want to see any more makeup looks and um, comment down below and I'll try to do them for you so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to clip my hair back so I have a headband somewhere but I don't know where it's gone but all I'm going to do is I'm just going to use some clips to pin it back just while I'm doing my foundation and stuff because blonde hair and foundation does not mix very very well at all so it's important to make sure it's all back off your face um, also the next video I'm going to be doing later on is um, a hair video so um, sort of like hair dyeing routine and what I use what products I use for my hair to keep it nice and long and stuff so as you can tell it's pretty pretty long so I thought I'd do a video um and then you guys can see what I use because I remember when I used to first start dyeing my hair back in the day oh my god did I have to like search high and low to try and find a good hair dye and it's taken me I'd probably say I've been using the same hair dye now for about six years, I want to say five, five years, six years, something like that. Um, so it is definitely worth watching that. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to prime my face. So I've been really getting into this primer. So this is number seven airbrush away primer. So I'm just going to put a bit of this on my face. Sorry about the mirror. I've just got a look to see what I'm doing because if if I did it without mirror that's, that's for another that's for another day is that um but yeah what is everybody up to um whilst they're stuck at home what what's everyone doing to stay entertained because I mean it's so so hard um I think if I was by myself um I wouldn't be too bad because I'd just be sat there watching movies all day but then on the other hand I'd be so lazy I wouldn't be able to do anything like any cleaning or anything because I'd just be like right well I'm sitting here not doing anything and nothing's getting done so so after that I'm gonna go straight into doing my eyes first I always tend to do my eyes first before anything else because if I do foundation first and then do my eyeshadow and stuff it's just all gonna go hits up so we won't do it that way the makeup revolution conceal and define this is in c c5 you can see that so c5 i'm just going to put this all over my eyelids my eyes down with the I Heart Revolution translucent powder which goes absolutely everywhere so that it's even for the eyeshadow to sit on the top. I'm gonna go in today I'm gonna use this bad boy so this is the Origin 42 colour palette eyeshadow palette I really like these so I've got uh, this one and then I've also got the going out one so I really like these palettes and they're such a good price Um, I think I've got them in the sale and um, I've got them for Christmas so I think they're about £15 each something like that I think one of them were a bit more Um, probably this one because it is so popular the normal origin one this is what it looks like on the inside so I've just zoomed you in a bit more so you can see exactly what I'm doing. Um, 
so yeah i'm gonna go straight ahead with this so i'm just gonna use one of my zoeva brushes i'm just gonna take this light shade orangey shade shimmer shades at the bottom so I'm just gonna take what should I use what should I use let's use this pink colour at the bottom <laughs> this elf liquid eyeliner i use this all the time i don't really spend too much on liquid eyeliner because i feel like most of it does the same sort of job and um, so i always use this elf one because it seems to do the job pretty good and then i'm just going to use the number seven lash impact ultra instant false lash volume mascara i'm just going to quickly curl my lashes <laughs> my liquid eyeliner um i wear it all the time i always do a winged eyeliner um i just think it suits my eye shape better and especially when you put um eyelashes on i also feel like i have to wear liquid eyeliner i think because the band on most eyelashes are so thick that you have to wear a liquid eyeliner but that's just my opinion but i'm just gonna quickly do it now so let me speed it up falsies um to be honest it's very fiddly for me to put false eyelashes on so i'll quickly do it off camera and then i'll come back on and we'll go on to base makeup makeup right so that is the false lashes on i believe these ones are the land of lashes one let me just see if i can zoom in glue still needs to dry but that is what they look like really nice i really like them um i got them in a massive set because they are quite expensive um if you buy them individually i think they're like five six pounds something like that individually but um if you get them in those massive sets like a day for christmas such a bargain i think they're like 25 pounds or something like that for 10 so it's quite quite a good bargain so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to go straight on to my base makeup so let's start off with foundation. What I've been doing lately, as 
because I really like this foundation. I think it's really, really nice. This is Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define. So I use two different shades. I always get a really dark one. Well, not a really dark one, but something that's about two shades darker than my fake tan. And I get one that's really light just so I can mix it and however tanned I am, it'll always match. So that's a good tip from myself. And then at least you don't have to buy in like 50 different shades for when your tan's faded or when you've just newly tanned or when you don't have a tan and you can just customise it to your to your skin tone on that day. So that's always a good tip. So I just space it out slightly, space it out, I can't even speak today. I think I've forgotten how to speak because we're all stuck inside. <sighs> space all that out like that. And then all I do is get the light shade, put it near my jaw because once you blend it down, you don't want this to be a massive orange line. And then where you would normally, you know, have lighter bits, just put it in those places. And then I'm just going to blend it out with a brush. Do you know, I don't really like beauty blenders for blending out a uh, foundation. I don't know whether it's just because I haven't tried the original beauty blender, I don't like it, but like I've got the Real Techniques one, which you'll see soon, but I just use that for baking or for, um, you know, just clearing up your contour. I don't use it for liquid things. It's just never, it's never worked for me, so I just don't do it. I just use powder. And to be honest, because I've got, um, I've got quite oily skin, I'd say it's more normal to oily rather than really oily, but in the summer it does get pretty, pretty oily, to be honest, so it's very annoying. I used to hate it in um, high school when... You want real supposed to wear makeup, but you want makeup, and it used to get so sweaty, um, and you couldn't really, and we never really used to take makeup into school that I can remember, um, or maybe we did. I don't, I don't, I can't even, don't know. But I just remember it used to just come off halfway through the day, and it just went annoying. <laughs> um. But yeah if you'd like to see any more different types of beauty videos as well like i don't know any type of video you want to see just request it down below and i'll try to get it done for you um next step is concealer so this i quite like the makeup revolution but i just mainly use it um just for my eyes for prepping my eyes for eyeshadow but for my under eyes i love the collection concealer and um, i know a few people said it's like tart shape tape now i've not used that one yet just because i'm too tight to pay all that money um but for a concealer i just think why not just use you know something cheap instead of you know paying all that money um obviously it's nice sometimes to have a bit of luxury makeup I think the thing I like to spend quite a lot of money on is either highlighter or um, eyeshadow palette. Eyeshadow palettes, I love um, drugstore brands as well, don't get me wrong, but splashing out a bit more money for something a bit more higher end is definitely, I would say, um, a good idea. <laughs> powders just give me a bit of a highlight so i'm going to use the revolution pro translucent powder so this is basically just a white powder so it's like that i'm going to use the cover effects 
uh, da, 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 da. pressed mineral foundation and that's a bit more of a neutral colour so I'm going to mix them both together just to give a bit more of a highlighted effect underneath my eyes you don't want to put too much of this on just because it's way too light um, but it's nice just to give a bit of a highlight Just like that, it's blending it out. For the Eye Heart Revolution translucent powder for the rest of my face. So, what I use is the Brow Spectrum Palette, which looks like this, so this is by The Weaver. See, I like palettes that come like this for an eyebrow because, say if I've just freshly dyed my hair, which I did about a week ago, you don't want to have really, really dark brows, but when your roots are coming through, it's better to darken your brow a tiny bit, so that's why it's nice to have a palette and have different choices rather than just have, you know, a light shade and then it doesn't look right later on. And so that's the eyebrows done. Looks so much better. I feel like I always use powder. I know a lot of people use either an eyebrow pencil or a pomade, but I just feel like powder suits me the best. I feel like, especially when you're blonde, I feel like pomades can be too harsh sometimes next thing i'm going to do is i'm just going to quickly do the bottom of my eyes eyeshadow so i'm just going to use a small brush that's not too big and i'm just going to take similar colors just go over the bottom lash line Just makes your eyes look so much better when you put it on the bottom. I don't know what it is. So now I've done pretty much my eyes actually what i like to do is so this is a highlight from primax so it's an ultra glow highlighter so it's kind of a silvery shade like this and what i like to do is in the corner is just put a bit on just to brighten it up and it really brings your eyes together gives it a bit of a pop now if you put a bit under your brow as well, looks really good. So that's the eyes done and dusted. Now let's move on to bronzer. So this is the Makeup Revolution Mega Bronzer. This is in the shade Cool. So I'm just going to take my brush. Just dab it in because it's very, very pigmented, is this? So you want to be very, very careful. So I'm just going to apply it to my cheeks first and just blending it upwards, just like this. And my husband's just coming and is looking at me as if to say, well, What am I doing? <laughs> dream living the california dream um blush so it just looks like that it's kind of a color corally color so i'm just gonna tap into that and just put it on the apples on my cheeks and then just blend it back So 
so it just adds a bit of colour and I think you can go wrong if you put too much on but I feel like it just gives a really nice colour. I'm just going to quickly do it now before I do my highlighter and my eyes is I take the translucent powder, I take my ugly old dirty Real Technique sponge and just bake my jawline not my jawline but just underneath where you put your contour it just gives you a really defined look so I'll keep that on for a few minutes just while I do my highlighter so the highlighter I'm gonna use today is Good All Day Soft and Gentle by Mac love soft and gentle best thing ever so i'm gonna use this is a real good highlighting brush as well this is the morphe m510 brush it's just really nice and big and gives a really nice effect so i'm gonna use that just gives a really nice natural glow and i like to put a bit just over the top. So last thing is lips. Okay, so for lips, so I'm just gonna use a bit of lip liner first. This is just a cheapie from Primark, so. I'm just going to do that first. Lip liner honestly just changes your lips completely. Okay, next step, I'm going to use, can anyone remember Models Own? I used to really like Models Own. But it used to be pretty, pretty expensive, I thought, to be fair, but it's not there anymore. And then this one is, I've got this for Christmas. And uh, da, 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 da. da. It's the something Macintosh, I forgot her name, she's soft made in Chelsea. It's a little set anyway, you probably can't get it individually. Um, and then I'm going to use the High Shine Lip Gloss by number 7. I love a good glossy lip. So that is the finished look guys right guys so that is the finished look it's very very natural um it's natural to me anyway because i wear it all the time um but it's just a good go-to makeup when you're going out somewhere as we're not going out anyway it's just nice to get glammed up and feel a bit better i suppose um but yeah this is the end of the video. Like I said, if you'd like to see any more, please subscribe and like the video. If you'd like to see anything else, please leave your recommendations down below. And until the next video, guys, stay safe, stay at home, wash your hands and take care. Bye, guys. Okay, I just wanted to quickly show you it in some natural daylight. So this is what it looks like it's very glowy um the eye makeup really matches the the blush and the lips really well but i really like it i think it's really good um so yeah hope you guys like the video if you liked it smash a big thumbs up and if you'd like to see any more leave recommendations down below and until the next video bye guys